What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of IDK Sports Podcast, your premier podcast talking sports with the average guys. My name is Anthony. This is my main man, Kenny. Chill. And you can <laughs> and you can catch us every Monday on YouTube at 5 p.m. or wherever you get your podcast at. Um, on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Pod, iHeart, anywhere. You can just look us up at IDK Sports Pod. Yeah. And we are there every Monday at 5 p.m. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, IDK Sports Pod 23. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With, with, you know, June coming up, summertime coming up. You know what time of year it is. What time of year it is, man. Y'all yeah. know what it is. Yeah. We're going straight to boxing. We got some huge, huge fights coming up. We can recap some first. Okay. Um, oh, Devin yeah. Haney, Ryan Garcia. You want to start with hate. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't much to say. Ryan Garcia put a whooping on that boy, but he probably took steroids. So, and he was overweight. How do you take steroids and be overweight? Awesome. And we can dig into it. Do you want to you highlight the other stuff first, or you want to get back to hate? How you want to do it? I like what other stuff. All right, so but you want to highlight it. So, bam. So, um, first off, it was a, it was a, it was a butt whooping, straight up and down, no questions about it. But also, he tried to get up the thing. Shaky. I'm going to close his mouth. Shaky. <laughs> but also, uh, Ryan did mention. I'm gonna give him some grace. Ryan did mention that it's hard for him to get down to 140. You know what I'm saying? Well, he took the fight. He took the fight, and that's why he ended up making a. Doing the cash out, like, yeah, I miss weight. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the cash out. Uh, because of that, this ain't a title fight. Boom, cool. Keep your, t- uh, keep your belts. Uh, all that's cool. Yeah. We can live with that. I just need to show the world that I'm, I'm going to put, you know, hands and feet on you. And he did. So. But overweight, though. But 143. And there, yeah. was no, there was no rehydration for that one. So, like. I mean, I'm just saying, like, like you can't. It kind of taints the fight in the body. If you're looking at yeah, oh, from a pure standpoint, from a pure standpoint, like you came in overweight, so you were supposed to, like you you didn't sacrifice what the other player, what the other boxer sacrificed. Yeah, bro. Ryan said, "I ain't about to kill myself." Um, I'm but not... you took the fight. Yeah, you right. So you like, didn't sign the contract. Like, like the that power that you had, who said you would have had it if you made weight? Where did uh? I don't recall off off hand, but what uh? What did Handy come in? He came in right at, right 1, at 140, 140, 145, 140.5, something like that. Yeah, he came right at 140. Yeah. So, so like, then we both had a chance. Better. If you come in three pounds hot, heavier, and you rehydrate, you know, yeah. I think that, I think I everybody think trying to glorify this win doesn't do anything for me. You're still. I I think it expo- I think well, not exposing not to somebody like me. I already knew Haney Chin wasn't like that, but it's supposed to have the power at all. But. Um, it also shows that, you know, how they want to say it, gods can bleed, whatever poetic way you want to say it. You're undefeated, Tank, undefeated. Uh, they just, you know, it's about... I don't want to hear no Tank talk but from neither. There's there's some guys that you should just not mention. You know, At all. There's When they say there's levels to this to this game... I do not want to see a Haney Tank fight. You can't you can't play boxing. They say it all the time. And you hear you're hearing it from an average guy here too. You can't play boxing. There's there's levels to that to that skill level. You know what I'm saying? Can't even so, think that man's name. All right. Well, who do you got on who do you got is the worst? Let's go ahead and put that there. Who who you have as the worst ass whooping? Garcia, Haney, Spence, Bud. They're pretty equal. It's a pretty equal ass whooping. <laughs> but I'm gonna say Garcia Haney, because Garcia never whooped nobody ass like that before. Crawford has has a That's reputation. About to say, man. but they actually stopped that fight. Gonna, they, they actually stopped. Hey, not too much. That fight, not too much. Okay, you trying to put me in the basket? That's what you trying to get? I know where you're looking. He's he like, tell, he didn't tell me about this when we got the five. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah, trying, trying to. to I'm, nah, it's Spence all day. He had a, <laughs> his retina was messed up. He couldn't see. You know oh my goodness! Not with not as a coming off what we just yeah. talked about with Garcia. Nah, bro. Oh, you ain't. Oh, okay. Nah, <laughs> I see what we okay, did. Moving on. Yeah. My man thought he's off his face. He's off his face. Yeah. Who you been? Moving on. All I'm gonna say is they stopped the Crawford fight. <laughs> they stopped the Crawford fight. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it real. He just came out of car. I'm gonna keep it real. 
I think if if Garcia was more disciplined, if he was a more disciplined fighter and he had his emotions under control, mm-hmm. he could have but like really did some real damage to that boy Haney. He could have really did. If he's more, if he can keep his wits mm-hmm. in the ring and not be so emotional or about from a body shot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but go. But if he, said, but if you, you saw him folding. Yeah, but this folding. Yeah. But there's just some. But if that, there's just some people you should not mention or think about. But now, now I see a film himself calling out Boots. That's crazy. He, he, not only Boots, he, he called your man out too. Man, they was on Twitter. They was on Twitter uh, going know, back and forth. Know, that's but that's what that's what wins. But I love this. And they got the same trainers. How are they gonna work? But I love. No, he ran off on Derrick James. Uh, yeah. This ain't with Derrick James no more. Okay, okay, okay. See, you doing so much. <laughs> the saying. news was that Derrick James and Spence are in a squabble, legal litigation. My man with more than 10%. 10% of 2.5. Pay that man. And <laughs> yeah, he said he want the gate. <laughs> I don't want the money you made off the gate, too. Nah, he said he said 10%. Box trainers get 10% of the purse. Right. But how much did you make? <laughs> <laughs> no, she stopped money watching. <laughs> but if I made 3 mil, you know, 300,000. Yeah, he ain't getting that bread, bro. And I brought more more people to your thing. That's I brought right. Charlo. Frank, Frank I brought Frank. Martin. I brought Garcia. We built this gym is built off of me. That's Vince Gym, yeah. It took up three hundred thousand. That's what we contract the obligated to pay. You want me to like give you, you know, hey, give you me know, the exactly. You know you might but, leave. But what if you ain't signed what if you ain't signed that contract? What if what if Lewis Smith oh, sat down oh, brother, and James signed the contract? Well the devil's in the details. So, so it's not James bad. Smith's lawyers. Yeah. Had James and James looked over at his lawyers and they signed that trainer agreement. Don't worry about how much pay-per-view money I made. Yes, I made 70 million off the damn Tans Carver fight, but all you know I made was 3.5. 350. You hold that boy, man. You hold him. That's why it's like more of like a. It's but more, it's a contract, it's more, But oh yeah. I mean, you can't argue no more than what's in the contract, but it, that's where it's more of like a civil. Disrespect more so like, yeah, bro. I know you broke me off here, but I'm gonna still break you off a five piece for you know, all right. Your trainer, yeah, you because know, you, you know, you're you a down. boxer, you made 75 mil. You paid, <laughs> you paid your trainer what your trainer was supposed to be paid. Yeah, yeah man, that, he look at you like, but I dang, also made dang, you, Kenny, but yeah. I also made you a 75 million dollar fighter. The contract says. The contract. What you gonna say? What you gonna say? You gonna pay him? You gonna break him off some? I'm gonna break him off some extra bread. How much? Off the book. Off oh, the so books. now it's off the books. So now off the books is up to interpretation. He never said that he didn't give him no money off the books. Yeah, that's but true. But if I got seventy five and I gave you six, yeah, off the books plus three fifty, yeah. Now you still might look at me like six dog. Well, that's that's just. That's just six off of seventy five. Yeah, but everybody always gonna feel like man, he gave me this when he had that. It's always people always gonna feel like you. you so now that's, you why, that's where the contract comes from, right? That's why because I mean, it's never gonna be enough. Well, you think you deserve 20, 20 million off my city phone? Nah, you crazy. Well, man, you ain't get double this is right? Because now, because <laughs> now that three hundred thousand gonna look crazy <laughs> when I don't go back to the ring for the next two years. <laughs> Me and my family gotta eat off this seventy mil. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like, and I'm, I'm exaggerating the numbers. I think right. there is like a twenty percent. Or something. So I think he probably did get a million at least, a couple mil. Mm-hmm. But you know. But all I think all in all, um Garcia and I are just talking crazy. But I, I love this for the sport for the reason that he took a L to tank, he took an L to tank, came back, got Cheating. a dub against Haney, got a dub against Haney, but now oh, that's where the well, that's where the confidence. My point is I don't want I'll yeah. be real confident if I was overweight and took care I don't of want the losses. I don't want the losses to like shy our stars, quote unquote, away from making fights happen. So where did Devin go from here? He not gonna move up. Well, hey, he B side. He not gonna move up. Nah, he won't. He don't watch. The tank call out's about to get extra heavy. But that's where it goes. Tank has tank. Tank is saying he'll fight any of y'all, but I personally don't think he has no. 
Devin, you couldn't even get Ryan Garcia out of here. Why would I fight him? Why would I fight you? Money. What money? You know what I'm saying why? Why would Haney take and the pay per view? Why would Haney take the tank fight? Yeah, but at a pay per view, like, but this, this me carrying you. And if I'm gonna carry you, I'm gonna do it with like a Frank Martin, somebody I actually rock with. Yeah, if I'm not I, about to carry somebody I don't even like for real. Well, maybe that makes for a pay then. Like, because it, Devin's not gonna help you sell no tickets. Let's give it a buck. This is the most everybody talked about it. So they just need you as any boxing, non boxing podcast, or sports podcast. Everybody talked about this fight, but nobody was hyped about the fight. No, this this fight wasn't news until fight night. Yeah, and that and that was when everybody sent the link. Yeah, Five Stick Boys was out. <laughs> like nobody was like, I'm not paying for this. Yeah, now with Tank Frank Frank Martin, that's a show though, and that's a and that's a card too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, but before we get there though, um, another recap fight though, I want to get to mm-hmm. um, Inral and Nary. Yeah, now, I was I, he was present for that. One. I, I told y'all that Nary ain't no easy out. I, I follow the band of ways and stuff. And Nary's what a two time, two division champion. Yeah. Probably gonna be a Hall of Famer too. Yeah. Got got a lot of young cats thought they was like that. Out of here. Out of here. Yeah, Filipino, little small Filipino dude. And then now is the boogeyman. If any boogeyman is in boxing right now, he is the boogeyman. Nary dropped him in the first round. Dropped him. But they got back good back and forth. Just anywhere out that size and power was too much for Nary. Body shots kind of got in their hand low, got him out of here, TKO in the sixth round. But um, I think we talked about it multiple times, and then some people kind of shrugged me off when I talked about it. But I said, this fight kind of proves was really a challenge for him overseas. Mm-hmm. Now he can come back. Now he can come to the U.S. to be ready to fight, to maybe move up or fight some other, maybe make his name now. That Nary fight, he needed to be able to have a big time fight. That fight was in the Tokyo Dome. Hadn't been a boxing fight in the Tokyo Dome since Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson. Whew. Tokyo Dome hold like 50, 60,000. Tokyo Dome was huge. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he, they sold that out. He got his name over there. He's established now. You beat another champion that's, that's um, What's the, what's you call what's the, what's the right term for Asia? Like Pacific Asian or whatever? Asian Pacific, yeah. Asian Pacific over in that area in Nary, who mm-hmm. wasn't no slouch. Now you got like a you got Fulton under your belt. Too big for And you got um Nary. Yeah. Now you can fight the dude that you can fight God like that come to America. You gotta fight nobody big about it. You fight the guy that Fulton lost that Fulton beat for the belt. He moved up. I don't know if you move up, you fight. That's the one that won the belts for the door who wasn't supposed to. Um, the cool boy fight here? Yeah, cool boy fight. He moved up a lot of weight classes, man. Yeah. He was fighting severely underweight. Yeah, he ain't got to, I don't think he got to come out of like that 120, 126 range. Like, there's still that. Kid. Nah, but I'm saying that dude was there. Yeah. And he moved, I, now I'm realizing that he moved, he moved up, up. Like, he oh, yeah. skipped some weight classes. <laughs> like, nah, nah, it just hit me. Like, yo, he moved up. But now you can come to America. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Cool Boy, if Cool Boy gets some more wins on this though, I think his American fight should be against Cool Boy stuff. That's like the big, like the biggest name in American boxing underneath. I mean, the biggest name in American boxing at, at that weight class. Because mm. your boy Gary, Gary Russell ain't fighting like that no more. Um, but Cool Boy, even though he beat Cool Boy like as a young fight, Cool as, a, as an early fight for Cool Boy. He went all the way to Japan to fight him. Yeah, you can show him that love. When I think Cool Boy come win some win some fights and get right. He's gonna be. On, I think he might be on this Philly card with uh boots. with boots. Yeah, because they train together. Um, I think that's a good fight for him. And you put it underneath a big top. If 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 Bob Arums wants to get his name nationally, you put him underneath a heavyweight fight or a big time fight. Mm-hmm. Like a bit of like a bit of a little fighting, but that's not what you're saying. That's, a, that's a Saudi fight, I know that. Um, sure. but you put Inglau on a fight on a big time card, you can't headline one right now. You got to get eyes on him, and it got to be like a co main event or right under the co main yeah. events so people are tuned in watching them. Because once people see him, they're gonna be like, Oh, this, this, dude, like, right. right there. Name recognition at that point, name yeah. and face recognition, but it's uh. And that's what I liked about this summer, man. Bring back big, 
boxing cards, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? This ain't nobody. There's ain't nobody star talent that crazy unless you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't a Mayweather yet or you ain't a De La Hoya yet or a Canelo to where you deserve to own your own card. Bring back big undercards, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it's starting to see, you're starting to see, like, dips in those things to where, bro, like, your, your stardom ain't to that point. You know what I'm saying? There's no mega stars at this very at this juncture right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So let's bring back big boxing cards. It's not no slight or shade to any other, you know, primetime fighter, even tank. You know what I'm saying? It's just that you some people need others to make cards. If y'all want tank to tank card, that's a uh that's uh Benavides on that card. Yeah, David Benavides is on there. Yeah, that's, that's you know what I'm saying. Uh even Crawford at the end of the year, you know, he got uh Ruiz, Andy Ruiz is on that card. Yeah, uh, a few others I can't remember at the top off the top of my head, but that's a stack card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so nobody, you don't have to own your own, own your own card, own yeah. your own lane, man. Just bring, bring it back. Bring but it back. Um, back to my main point was just that uh, with that loss, being that both Haney and Garcia got L's on their record, don't let that shade or you know what I'm saying stop us from getting good fights. You know what I'm saying? Or even in the I case think where, Haney's gonna take a dip. I think Amy is going to go spin. back to fighting on ESPN again. I don't think it's no. Sometimes it's not about if you lose, it's about how you lose. Ryan didn't lose nothing losing the Tank off a of body shot because Tank has got Hall of Fame. Yeah, got Santa cool. Cruz out yeah. there. Roley didn't really lose nothing losing the Tank. Roley did lose some cred losing. Eastside crew. Yeah. Haney getting beat down like that by Garcia to the masses. Now, me and you might want to see it. Yeah. Just to see him get knocked out. Because it's probably that's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Um but to the masses, and if I'm a promoter, because people really want to see Haney tank. But I can get try to get tank Tia, Theo. Nobody's trying to see Theo and Haney. Like, it's like sometimes not losing, sometimes doesn't hurt you in boxing. Sometimes yeah. it's about who you lose to right. and how you lost. Like, your boy, uh, that Sebastian that Sebastian kid got out there, that Endora. Earl trying to fight. Yeah. That guy, what, Tim Sue? Yeah, Tim Sue. Like, Tim Sue, they killed him. I don't know how Tim Sue come back from that. Yeah, you were the champion. Yeah. I don't know how you come back from that. But it's the I think to your point, it's that visual, right? So let's take let's stick with Garcia just for a second. Yeah. So you got Garcia who, you know, TKO body shot, boom. But it's tank. But it's tank. Then you take that same Garcia and he gets a dub versus Haney, where it's, you know, knockout hooks. Yeah. You know, tapping the chin. It's like the visual of Haney in that situation doesn't look good. And now it's too. Mind you, this is the same Haney that Took that trip over there to go see your boy Ken Bosis, who had big fights with Loma. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not no Haney fan by any stretch of the But, but I, I thought Ken Bosis could do the job. But, yeah, so we were a lot of Theo. Let's go through crazy stuff. But, and Theo just ain't. When he on, though. But when he there and he's sharp, he ready. Yeah. But, um, so but I, Haney beat Lomo, though. But a lot of people thought. That Lomo B. Lomo won that fight. Lomo exactly. Won that fight. Haney has never, besides Kimbosa, won nothing clear, clear yeah. cut yeah. that we saw. Now, he did other fights on count. Yeah. But, like, you fight. Gar like I said, Garcia, no, his record got blemished, but his popularity didn't get blemished. Because you fought Tanker. Tanker got Santa Cruz, Leo Santa Cruz, which is a sure fire Hall of Fame. Yeah. Got him out of here. I, I thought he would kill that man. Had Tankman got a lot of guys out of here. But did you lose to Garcia like that? Like Garcia visual, beat you it's up? Visual, bro. Like, it's like if I'm the old people, I'm like, well, I'm gonna fight this dude. We can't get Garcia handle him. I'm gonna waste my time. I'm like, can I sell this fight? Can I? It's all about selling it. And David Haney's mouthpiece, pause, is not like that to sell a fight. Mm -hmm. Like, Earl can sell it. Earl if Sebastian Earl fight, Earl's gonna sell that fight. Absolutely. And that Sebastian kid talking enough, he can sell that fight too. He kind of got that like cocky kind of, oh, you know, I'm going to get him out of here to sell that fight. Garcia and Theo can sell a fight. Oh, yeah. Same as we say about Garcia, he can sell a fight. 
Garcia can sell the fight. I just as boxing people didn't believe that this fight would work fine. Yeah. But but Garcia can sell a fight, right? Um Haney can't sell no fight, bro. Tony Harrison, my man. Yeah. Sell a fight. Can talk, yeah. Sometimes it's about sometimes you see cats that lost a lot. Andy Marie's with that mess get his Mexican people charged up. They can he can sell a fight. Yeah. But and okay, I didn't take it over to uh your boy Caleb. Caleb, you talk, but again, it's about like you said, it's about who you lose to. He done lost to so Canelo up, and Benavidez. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Those are two twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. Not too much. Not too much on Caleb. That's my man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> but he also, you put him in the ring with, you know what I'm saying. The row, it's lights out. He slapped Jamal Charlo. You know what I'm saying. That's all the fight. But it's slapped that man for his life. But that doesn't stop the kids. You can apologize. <laughs> we don't get that. <laughs> it don't stop you from. He's still a figure in this in that sport, and he can still make the big fights happen. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Plant don't um, run, plant don't duck no fades. You know what I'm saying? Just the same way. Uh, I don't think none of like the, the lighter guy should duck no fades. I I'll think Haney right should now. back out. He needs to get that visual. The way that Plant sell a fight, Plant can run it back with your boy Joshua Taylor from England, and I bet you Cash will still buy that fight on ESPN Plus if, if the price is right. Who could? Oh, um, if, if Joshua Taylor and Plant ran it back again. Because Plant, Joshua Taylor, not the English, I don't know why, but English fans love him. And Plant most of the fight in America. I would buy it just because, you know, I know how to live on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Haney, don't really, it, it, like, if you want, that loss is going to hurt him. That's all I'm saying. I don't think you see Haney on the big, Haney going to get another shot. I think he's talented enough to get another yeah. shot. But it's going to be a minute. He's going to have to wait in line. He might have to fight. Uh, really? Uh, Roly might have to fight each side. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and he got a chin. And you know how I feel about Roly. I said they ain't they ain't managing him right. If you ever get somebody that manages right now, a real trainer, Roly got power for his size. And if he ever can like focus and get that right, he got power. That's why I said Roly is young enough where these L's didn't hurt him. But like if he can get under the right again, yeah, if he can get under the right uh trainers and stuff, Roly go on a win streak. I can see Roly with the pack like he has power at his size. Yeah. Where like once Tank get out of here, you can see him fighting for a championship again. Yeah. Because he's young enough, but his L's were the East Side like and, and Tank. And Tank. And you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, if I'm East Side Cruz, I'll take the Devin Haney fight. I would too. I but mean, he, he, but the but Devin yeah. Haney don't want to take that fight. Hey, get him a list. Get in line. Thank but that's the thing with uh, Esau. Like since that L the tank, I think he won three since then. He fight anybody in the wheel. It's well wanted, yeah. and that's why I think that's a play for Tio if he wants it. Like I, will, I will. I might play for that fight to see Tio and Esau fight. But that's where I was going to say. I think Haney's just going to be relegated to just being a B side for a little while. Because he got to get rid of that stink. He, he got a lot of stink on his name. He, right I think he dropped out of Cobain status. Ooh. I think he dropped. Like, if he, he on a he, big car. He's still a Cobain. He if he on a big car. Like, with who? Like, give me a name. Like, like a Spence like like return. return. Like a Spence return. Yeah, a Spence return. Yeah, a Spence return. Is you put that man in your Cobain fight, or you going to get Isak as your Cobain? Cold, cold and, you, and you ain't fighting like no big man person. And sometimes your Cobain just be fighting for a showcase. So let's say you got like Spence returned to 147 and he's fighting like a Barrios, right? He's fighting a, this yeah, is a I, hope, I hope that don't happen for Barrios. <laughs> so you got Barrios at 147, Haney said, let me get on that card. I'll call some next one to call first. Woo! Would you? <laughs> so if you like Spence, like, yeah, I'm setting up a card. Like you, I'm, I'm you, Spence promoter. You Spence, you Spence, you're a Spence promoter. You know what I'm saying? You set up the card, you say, hey, we're first, already locked in. We already locked me and Barrios is already locked in looking for how to set this card up. You better hope how to better, like one thing you better hope that this Frank fight, if Javante and Frank don't go like 10 or 11, and Frank look good, call me Isak and Frank the co man my shit. Because Frank don't lose nothing. If he go 10 11 with Spence, I mean 10 11 with Tank. Tank yeah. Oh, man, I, if I'm if I'm hating, I, I was gonna say I'm looking for the first fight to get that stink off my name. I'm looking got, for the first fight. Man. If I'm him, I'm calling Esau. Now that ain't going. That ain't. But Esau's trying to fight champions. He, yeah, he ready now. So, um, 
Speaking of, you know what I'm saying, upcoming fights, though, so we, we can get into, well, let's get into the upcoming fights. Let's get into your boy Jamal and Charlo. Is it Jamel or Jamal? Which one got arrested? Uh, Jamel. Jamel? Yeah, yeah, the one that ain't found him. They finally stripped him of the, the title. He ain't defended that title in like three years. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. They finally stripped him. No, Jamal, Jamal, Jamal. Jamal, yeah, I don't want to get the wrong one. Um, finally stripped him of the title. I don't know what the brother going through, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? J. Yeah, Cole, J. Cole, you my man, but look what you started, man. My man got slapped in the face and apologized to the dude that slapped him in the face. I said, I'm sorry. I uh, I was just all over the place. I, you know, I, so, I should be laughing. Hey, when you start telling another man, like, what you can go on, after he slapped you, like, yo, open palms you. There's just a lot going on right now. It was like a hard. It was like, Damn, I told you now. I told you. You know, my, my life just hasn't been on track. Bro, my man got some serious stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Not too much because I like mental health is real. If you are having issues going on in the world, trouble. call somebody, bro. Call somebody. You know what I'm saying? Let somebody know. But we don't get these jokes off, though. He was on live apologizing. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm like, when Joe said on the podcast, bro, we can apologize at night. You can send a long text message. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's on me. I ain't gotta apologize on live. Yeah, bro. Like, it's cold fault, bro. I I I think sometimes it's the, the pressure be getting the folks, bro. Like man, everybody ain't ready for that fight at three o'clock after the school bell rang. It's so, not a lot of people ready for that, bro. Like, family, bro. Like and said, and he, he, he made, you said it was your fault why you got smacked. He, he said I was in the way and I'm sorry. So <laughs> some face in the way of the hands. <laughs> like you got some people who just you know. And then my man recorded and then he posted it. Yeah, on his, his face. He recorded and posted on his face. Yeah, yeah. Talking about we good. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, you know, shout out to Jamal, man. You know what I'm saying? Get the help Some me, people bro. just got a lot of peace. They they want more peace in their life than hell. You know what I'm saying? Like I would have scorched earth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like I said, not everybody waiting to, they're not the first kid to run to the flagpole for that fade. It's not it's not a lot of kids that or not a lot of people that's built like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, that's up to him. Hope he finds peace. <laughs> And that's in J. Cole and Chicago <laughs> State. I hope y'all find peace in those and get the hell away from whoever's taking that peace from you. <laughs> Cause it ain't worth it, dog. It ain't worth it, bro. Oh man. Oh. It ain't worth it. Upcoming fights, you know, tonight. Well, for y'all well, two weeks from now. We ain't talking about that one. Cause my time is post. Y'all yeah, already got that. that. Yeah. So um but fights is coming up. Uh, when y'all see this one Monday, the Usyk fight and the Fury fight would happen. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, that's a big one. That's a big one in Saudi. Probably buy that one. Maybe they released the card for that one. Ah, uh, I had to check. I had to look at the main stuff, but I, I, I probably want to see if that's a fight that people been waiting on. You know, if Fury beat him, I think he really retires this time. There's nobody, there's nobody else to beat. You know what I'm saying? Unless they unless they put like the revenge thing in there, like he gets like a two or three out of them. But even then, I don't think Fury sticks around that long after that. Man, like, there's no need to fight Joshua. No. Mm-mm. Ain't no need to fight Wilder again. He ain't got nothing to prove with Joshua. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, Joshua wouldn't let that ship sail. Yeah, this is, this is point unless out. the bag is enough. Now, get me wrong. You know, the Saudi bag is different. Said, money does change a lot of minds. <laughs> but I think that's a good, I think that's a great, um, great fight. Um, I think that's going to be a good one. Uh, even with it not a great card, mm-hmm. I think it's the main event along the carry because it's just you want to see. You want to see if somebody can dethrone Fury. Yeah, but I mean, closest person that got to it was Wilder that, that slept him. I still don't know how he got up. But ain't, he ain't look like he hasn't looked vulnerable since. Well, I think that's, uh, let me just go back a little bit. So I think that's the part of the reason why you do poly with, like, with the Saudis and his excellency of Turkey this like is because they kind of cover up their front end of having like those big cards. You know what I'm saying? They kind of take the weight off your shoulders of having to cover that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they know we all tuning in for the main fight so we don't have to have like robust cards like that. Um, uh, 
I say that with the idea that they do got this five on five coming up uh, in June. So yeah, it's uh, you know, it, it does as long as we we make the bag off of that. Well, I think you know between Usyk and uh, Fury, they make the bag off of that, and they double down for a, you know a sequel or a trilogy. Yeah, I mean that's that's his last though. that's Fury's last hurrah. I don't yeah, see I, mean, I think the Fury I think I'm gonna get a sequel or something that's close. But if if I think if it's clear cut who the winner is, I think this is Fury. Whether he loses or wins. Oh man, if it's a KO. If it's a KO. If, 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 I think even if Fury loses and it's like clear cut that like 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 What's you should one? put him down yeah. or you should dominate some whole round. I think Fury Fury like I don't forget Fury's up there and he took that hiatus. Yeah. But Fury was the one that took the belt from the Klitschko brothers, bro. Yeah. All the belts. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Um got a little thing. Right here at the Fury. Do we care about you know what I'm saying? My nigga A B. Fighting oh, the Ryan Ryan Ryan. came back, yeah. You know, you know, still trying to make a check. I right, man, not too much on A B. I think he was uh Two-time, three-time division champion. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was a He was uh, just didn't focus enough. Just prom, 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 prom just was too short. Hey, man, you, you, that's he didn't have the focus. That's that prom was too short. He was ready to be Mayweather. Yeah, and then my daughter showed him real quick. Mm -hmm. Got him out of here. Yeah. You know, you try to rush to be Mayweather, but even shit, even my Donna caught Mayweather a couple times. You know what I'm saying? My Donna was, was a tough out. Like, yeah, ain't no easy fight. First time, man, second to the first time. That was close. Yeah, that's, we could they're still arguing about that in the barbershop right now. <laughs> that first right. fight was close. That's my Don, that first my Donna made with the fight? Yeah, the second time we got him out of here. Yeah, that was, that was But that first fight, I watched that. I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Um, Big fight, June 15th. We got Tank Frank, um, Benavidez, and... uh. Who was it? Shame, can't keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that dude's name. Ukraine dude. Yeah, but Benavidez is fighting him. Um... I like I like this fight for Frank Martin because I like I like his skill set. I think he got enough fights under his belt where I think it's good that Frank blessed him with this payday. And hey man, sometimes you gotta get in there with the with the with the one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um I still think Tank get him out of here. I still think Tank KO him. I think Tank get him out of here. Um but I think that's a good night of boxing. You get to see two guys in their prime yeah. really get after it. Yeah, Benavidez and Tank. Yeah, I just looked up that guy's name. I can't even pronounce it. So, but God bless you, brother. The guy that Benavidez. It's just like, like it's uh, always thinking. good, and I hope that uh, they put some young cats on there. I can't think Sean's on his pen, but hope they put some young cats on there to get the exposure in the early, the early opening cars before the co-main event, um, yeah. and let them eat too. You know, because Sean is fine. He's chasing that uh, that Tio fight right now. You know what I'm saying? Early for that, bro. That's what he. That's what Tio said too. He was like, yeah, you, you, you still got to run a couple laps before you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got ten in. Yeah, he trying. He trying to run him down, but I, I like to see gold, that. I know your gold medals or silver medals. Yeah, he trying to run Tio down right now, but you know that's what happens when you're on that side of the street. Um, but in the case of like you said with the Tank Frank fight, um, I, that's we gonna get into it more. We get closer to that fight, but uh, I, I like this this trend that Tank's on. Cause he said he got like a six to seven fight deal mm. and Tank's just the first name on that hit list. Mm. Um, so the, his, his career may very well wrap up at like 35, 30, well, let me say 36 to 37 fights when it's all said and done. Mm. Uh, with, the, with that being the case, um, and let's say he, you know, no blemishes on his record, maybe, you know, a few more, four or five more knockouts, he can hang it up. He ain't got to run it. Only thing he doesn't have on his record is any, like, sequels. He ain't got no trilogies. He ain't got no... Okay. Yeah, he ain't got no highly talented it. rival. He, he doesn't have no highly talented rival in this time. I think Tank is at the point in his career now. I think he beat a couple more jokers where, like, if I really want to assert my dominance, yeah, come on. I'll fight you again. And show you again now, that you still ain't ready for me. Yeah. Now, if he go back around and beat everybody that he beat convincingly, Again for a second time, yeah. Then it's like it's no doubt. Like that's that's why they pushing that uh the Isak Cruz fight because that was like that's the only fight where it was like a, a decent fight and it was short handed. That's yeah. the only fight where it's like I right, think that might be the one. That's the only one. All yeah. the rest of them, you get them out of here. 
Imagine that was on that was on a short on a short uh, yeah, the short fight. camp. Yeah, because that was supposed to be the Broly fight. Yeah. But um, with with that being the case, he if he's if the boxing legacy if that's the boxing legacy he wants to leave, then yeah, he have to do a few more laps and go get some get a, a, a highly titled rider. So but moving up and wait and get that he can, his body can handle it anyway. Yeah. His coach Calvin said that you know that uh, that tears him up so. I think if you want to make 135 home, you're going to have to make some rivals there. As far as being. Or you just be overly dominant. And you ain't got to have no rivals. But that's how you end up being your boy, Andre. Yeah. Ward? Yeah. Yeah. And Ward, circle the block. Yeah. There's 30 fights. Yeah. Ain't want nobody left. That's what I'm saying. You just got to whoop everybody ass and nobody on the block. Ain't nobody on the block. Ward, yeah. Ward beat up. Um, what was that man named? It couldn't have no fault. Uh. Canelo fought him and whooped his ass too. But every young comer that came up, didn't like, didn't he, didn't he fight Antonio Tarver when he was older? Got Antonio Tarver out of here. Like, Tank wanted to be the guy that'd be like, yo, I'm still on the throne. And when you yeah. ready, come tap my shoulder. I'll show you why I'm on the throne. Well, I'm sitting sit back on my throne. Yeah. Like, that's just what it's going to be with Tank. Like, I don't think, say, 135, I don't think he needs, when he's enough star power, he don't need rivals. Because mm. he's going to sell regardless. He's going to see Tank. He's not having knockout power. Everybody likes to see knockouts. Yeah. So like, like take your fight. Like they take your Frank Martin, no big name. But people gonna buy. It. Yeah. yeah. That's just all tank name alone. Even if Benavidez wasn't on this thing, people would go buy. It. Yeah. No question. They said Vegas, Benavidez is on it. Um, and stuff like that. So, uh, how you feel about the Benavidez fight? You think you gonna get him out of here? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. They've been really just trying to keep his skill sharp to the Exactly. It's, it's keeping it's the sword sharp. Keeping the sword sharp until uh Camelo or or he decides to go up like heavy and fight Bill. Yeah. He, I think that's gonna be the next play if Canelo keep bullcrapping. It don't make no sense to hear middleweight, but I can go fight Bill at a catch weight or fight him at, at light heavy and um get him out of here. That and that would actually benefit his purpose if that's the if that's what he's looking to do. Like let's say uh he wants that Canelo fight. I think he wants to. I think he wants to fiddle in uh, whoever wins between Bibble and Better B too. I think he wants that title too. Yeah, but like, yeah, because I think he transitioned to that because Canelo ain't gonna fight him. I don't, I don't, I don't no know. time soon. If I'm being honest, honest, I don't see that fight ever happening. Canelo ain't trying to do that. Canelo ain't, taking, can, that some, ain't taking that risk. Some of the things Canelo said in the public, where he's not looking for paydays, he's not looking for like I said, he never gonna fight me. Yeah, ever. Um. Two weeks later, on the 29th, Theo fights in Miami. ESPN? Yeah, ESPN. Steve Gladgett. I don't know who that is. I'm saying Theo just fighting. But this is who Devin Haney, this is who Ryan Garcia and his target should be. This is who, now this is the fight with Theo that I do want to see Tank and Theo fight. At a catch weight or something. I, Theo's never going to move back now. That. But if the money right and a catch weight, no titles for the line, I think that's a legacy fight. I think that's gonna be it. I, I, I think <clears throat> people say Shakur, but I think Tio is the toughest fight Tank could ever have. He's a boxer, a pure boxer. Tio be the toughest fight for Tank if, if Theo head is right. Yeah, if Theo head not right, then Tank might get him out of here kind of quickly. But if Theo head on, yeah, that, that's, a saying, that's, that's a fight. That's a fight. That could be a classic. Yeah, Theo the one that got um, that had smoked for Loma too. So let's, let's not take that out. Let's not, you know, what I'm saying let's not write that off his record. But Lomo, yeah, yeah, you're right. Tio. But I think Devin Haney run that Lomo fight back. That thinking of some fights with Devin. I'm just thinking of fights ahead for Devin Haney. But let me get to some other fight. Shakira fights on July 6th in New Jersey. Mm. You know, just fighting the mandatory. And then uh, Boots finally, you know what I'm saying, gets a fight locked in. Yeah. Um, in we Philadelphia. Back. We back. You know what I'm saying? But I do think Boots has bigger eyes set on some folk. Mm -hmm. And if Ryan Garcia keep calling Boots out, I think Boots is going to take that fight. If, if you really, if you, if he's serious. I, mean, the word, I don't last, think Ryan Garcia is serious. I mean, he better not be. Um, but I think Boots will take that fight. And then, of course, you got. Uh, Mike Tyson. This this is what I deal with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. I hate this is a sanction fight. Really? I hate this thing because if Jake if Jake Paul got they got some money in this thing, but Mike Tyson loses this, that's an actual L on Mike Tyson's that's record. Right. Yeah. Jake Paul will actually have a W over Mike Tyson. 
Yeah. It's a sanctioned heavyweight fight. That's crazy. If if they if they do this for the bread and Tyson take a fall for that, that just that I mean it's not really a legacy tarnisher, but Jay Paul will run like oh, I, I'm one of the few that got a W on Tyson. I think Mike Tyson. Like the same likes of Evander Holyfield, Buster Douglas, Lennox Lewis. They all got to come out of retirement and spend the block for Mike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, them are the people that beat, them are the names that beat yeah. Tyson. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate this a sanction fight. Exhibition, okay. Sanction fight, nah. Then Chance Crawford fighting, um, uh, this, whatever this cat name is. Oh, man, that fight, yeah, Jay Paul happened on Netflix? It's a crowd show, bro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that Crawford fight, that car is heavy. Because they need somebody to carry it. That Crawford fight is and heavy. Are you, you <laughs> might not buy it still. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, it's too much not to. You ain't going to buy that fight? What you talking about? It might be Jared. It might be Jared on that fight, right? Jared Anderson and Devontae Wilder might be on that fight. If Devontae Wilder beat this dude, he got a fight in June 1st, right? Who's that? If Wilder beats that Zane dude, yeah. then it's supposed to be Jerry Anderson and Wilder. Yeah. Supposed to be on that card. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a quick turnaround. That's a really quick turnaround. That's a crazy turnaround. They must think they're going to get Zane got to hit quick. If you hope, you keep on rooting for him, but they got uh, Jarrell, Andy Ruiz is fighting Jarrell Miller. Got a, bunch of, got a bunch of heavyweights. Isak Cruz is on there. Fighting who? He's fighting um, Jose Venezuela. Uh, Virgil Ortiz is on there. We can see Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz. All the names. Yeah. So, they yeah, because they had to. Terrence can't carry no card. It's, it's, they bought Virgil Ortiz out, Isak, and they're going to put two heavyweights on there. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got, you got two heavyweights. Yeah. Ain't Jarrell Miller coming back off his suspension? They stacked the card up, bro. They stacked the card. They got to get their money back. They paid. They paid Crawford. They got their money back. That's why I charged eight dollars for that fight. Did you buy? Yeah, that's a good enough card. That's a good enough card to buy eighty dollars for sure. For sure. Hey, bro, it's okay. He's the champ right now, bro. He's the champ, and he got your guy out of here. Heavy <laughs> <Like, geez. laughs> all but yeah. But nah, man, check out the boxing. You know what I'm saying? Download some boxing schedules. Get with your homies or get throw a boxing party. This is the summer to do it, man. This is the summer to do it. Into our next topic, you know, talk about, man, some underrated sports figures, bro. Sports athletes, sports players, man. I heard, I saw some things on, on, on the net going around. And then you got to think about some guys that never, ever really got their shine like, like they really should. You know what I'm saying? Um, first one that came to mind for real for was Brandon Lord. Mm. Dog, I mean, caught everything. Had make ESPN type catches for the fourth line, like, like one handed. He was one of the first ones really to really snatch it out the air with one hand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cash was catching one handed and coming into his body. He was like snatching them jacks. You know what I'm saying? That was um one guy that like people knew were nice, but he never really was like like that dog. Man, everybody he really was like. Mm -hmm. Like, he was a really good receiver, you know what I'm saying? Um, another dude I'll bring up, now let you go, uh, was here and died here quick. Oh, um, Mary Barber with the Cowboys. Oh, man, that's my dog. That's my dog. RIP. Toughest three yard run in NFL history, dog. You know what I'm saying? He was, oh, man. he was a man for the Cowboys and the Bears. And really, never, it was a good runner, just, you know, far out there last that long. And he was a he was a dog. You know what I'm saying? He was a dog that like football players appreciated. But I don't know if all the fans appreciated why he was here. Because he wasn't like fast or nothing like that. He was shifty, yeah, a strong back. Um that 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 really, you know what I'm saying, did his thing. What's up you got? All right, man. Damn. I'm gonna have to let's I'm gonna just take a trip over to the defensive side of the ball real quick. Uh, this was like Hurt Locker, Madden hit stick era of football. So this was like early two thousands. Uh, went to went with Chicago to their first Super Bowl. I don't know who you about to say, but he was just outshined because we was playing next to. Him. 
desk. I'm gonna go with my man Lance Briggs, bro. Yo, yo you was watching that. Game. I was just about to bring this up as like a story moment. That the we there was a Monday night game. I think uh, it was a Monday night game. Eagles versus the Bears. I was chilling with my man, and you think we like order some pizza, some wings, or something? We just kicking it. It's just no. It's Monday night football. We with the homies. <laughs> It was like a game that where it was like pretty even on paper, but I had like a good idea that the, like the Eagles was going to win. So I'm confident. It's the Shady years. Early it's Shady. It's early Shady. You know what I'm saying? And my, this is prime Shady. So this is Mr. Connor Dime 25 himself. So I'm thinking Earl Acker, hmm, not really worried about him unless he can square him up. Briggs, I don't know if this is like a come out game, but like the first time I really had to pay respect to his game. When – you know, just like your old high school football coach would teach you, yeah. same foot, same shoulder. No man wins. Like, come helmet, ball side, wrap both hands. Bad intentions. Just come downhill, linebacker football play. That was, and every time, this is when we were watching that game, every time he tackled Shady, Here. we all said, Ooh, that shit. <laughs> it was just, it was form fit tackling the entire yeah, game. Dog. Like, it was points of that game. Shady was just like, uh uh-uh, and get out of bounds. Just because it was, Les Briggs was coming every play. But even past that, bro, and I'm not going to take nothing away from Brian, Brian Erlacher, legend of the game. But, excuse me, Lance Briggs, in my eyes, He's what you would consider like the Dre Greenlaw to Brian Erlacher's Fred Warren. You know what I'm saying? They're both dogs, damn good linebackers. Nice. It's just that you just lined up with another dog. That's a great you know what comparison. Brian was fast. You know what I'm saying? Athlete, safety in high school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a great comparison. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Lance Briggs, uh, he was part of that, you know, that stout Chicago defense. That's, that's when your boy Peanut was there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I forgot your D-tackle that was there at that time, too. Oh, uh, but That defense was nice. Bro. That defense was stacked. Yeah. It was stacked. They, they beat y'all that game? Yeah. He lost that game. Yeah. He lost that game. End of the story. <laughs> Moral of the story, he was off that game. Yeah. Briggs, was, he was he was snatching shit. Snatch, oh, body snatch. Different, but Woo! Briggs was, was different. Bop. And he's Bop. just uh, uh, a legend. Uh, well, definitely my era of football watching, like, legend of the game. You know what I'm saying? The, for true, true NFL talent, true football talent, I, I thought he should have been regarded. He should be regarded in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Not the, the Pat Willis tier, but he was out there balling at the same time Pat Willis was balling. Yeah. So uh, he should definitely remember. Second one, um, I'm going to go with Chris Chambers, bro. I'm going to go with Chris Chambers. I wanted to go Sam Madison. That's where I wanted to go. Yeah. There's a few guys, Drake Blah. There's a few guys. I was about to say Drake. There's a few Drake guys Blatt, that oh, just man. that was just uh, well, good players. That was really good damn players. good players. And that Carl Pickens. You know what I'm saying? That was just out and you know getting <clears throat> getting stats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is before like you know the mega TV deals. This is you know what I'm saying. Uh, when you know your stars is coming to like becoming household names. You know what I'm saying? Some people just superseded others. Yeah. Uh, and maybe because of bad quarterback play, because of other, you know what I'm saying, lack of talent on your roster. He wasn't really having, like, mega teams at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you when you had, like, when you honed in on your favorite player or you just admire somebody's game, maybe they just didn't come through your TV market. Maybe you just don't see them at that. This is, like, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, before, before league passes. So in that case where you catch a, a Dolphins game versus the – back then it was the Redskins, Commanders now – uh, where you get to see a Sam Madison or a uh, Thanksgiving game where you see Drake Block. This is how the most don't get his credit neither. He doesn't. He doesn't. He held down on the, on the um, yeah. Redskins, not the Commanders. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there, was a, there was an era where you had to go see the Redskins, bro. You had yeah. to go see them. Yeah. But let me just finish off with uh, Chris, Ch- uh, Chris Chambers. Uh, multi, uh, multi-time multi uh, pro bowler. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't that tall? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But a dog, you know, made all the acrobatic catches you can, you know what I'm saying, you can think of, you know what I'm saying, go ball, all of it. I think he came from, uh, I think he came out of the University of Wisconsin. Please yeah. fact check me in the comments if you see it. I don't. But um, he was just an all-around dog, bro. 
all around dog. You know what I'm saying? That true ex when you needed it. Yeah. You feel me? So he was um another player I'll bring up, you know, some people know about Larry Johnson. That four years Larry Johnson was on top of the game was he was on top of the game. Mm -hmm. Like people wasn't even talking about LT like that. Like Baby Thompson like that while Larry was like he was like speed. And it was crazy how the Chiefs did it. Cause right it priest. was right after Priest. Yep. And then Larry came out of nowhere and was just a dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That 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 was I think he went to Pitt. Am I getting that right? Oh. I think Larry Johnson went to Pitt. I'm not sure who played that, but Larry Johnson when somebody see on the other side of the ball, you know what I'm saying? Or like some basketball players. Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going with it, bro. You had to be there to see it, man. Zebo was, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that's your dog. <laughs> Zebo was a bucket, bro. For all my brothers, like, Zebo was the average guy that they were really ball, bro. Wasn't really athletic, 6'10. You know, didn't jump high, but would eat you alive in the post. You know what I'm saying? Four of you were shooting all these threes. That was one that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get the post on that hand up. Ah, right here. <laughs> right right here. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. You know what I'm saying? Get a little move. Get the shoulder down. Ah, off the glass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Zebo was one of my guys. Um, yeah, basketball. Some basketball has so many stars. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. I kind of like, I was an Andre Miller fan. You know. Um, but yeah, with football, I really want to get the football. It was out like Larry Johnson. Priest Holmes ain't talked about a lot neither. Yeah, but it was like, you know what I'm saying? Priest was out there with like, I think Sean Alexander was still still killing. Uh, Another name that like people, he came, broke records and left. Curtis Martin, no, Curtis, uh, Curtis Martin. Yeah, still out there. he a Hall of Fame though. Marshall was still balling, I think, at that yeah, time. Yeah. You know, Speaking of, since we own football, and I'm not saying underrated, had an argument with somebody. Who's the best college football player you've seen play? You've seen play. Best college, college football player I've seen play. I said it was Reggie Bush and it wasn't close to me. Reggie's up there. Reggie's up there. Because everybody said Vince, yeah, Vince had some of the best moments, but if you saw Reggie's highlight tapes and what Reggie was doing, Reggie was like a, like a, but even when Reggie was there, so I was more of a Lindell White type uh, kind yes, of guy. Yes, yes, he was. Yeah. But if you, you can't deny that Reggie, some of the plays that Reggie made, you're not supposed to. When he went this, went behind, stopped, went behind the back, Stupid. on a dime, sped up with the other. Reggie was crazy in USC. Yeah, yes, home. the team was nice, but he was crazy. Uh, my, first, my first thought went to Cam. Cam, that year, Cam, that year for Cam was something wild. First, yeah, that year, that year for Cam. Cam. Uh, his name ain't mentioned a lot because um, there was so many damn great running backs to come out of Bama. I remember Trent Richardson. I remember Trent Richardson just because he kind of came after like I want to say after Mark Ingram and before Derrick Henry, somewhere in between there. Sure but, 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 in the hole. but but Trent Richardson. Like did some like the most unbelievable like things I've seen. But I think Trent got passed up by what your boy did when he left. The boy put the line in. He did some crazy shit. Uh, Kenya, nah, the line they got up in the line is now the rookie. Who puts the lines now? Oh, Jameer, Jameer, some of Jameer did. It's crazy. Alabama is crazy. <laughs> but okay, so. Think anybody else? I'm trying to think of some receivers. Randy, think about the Ohio State kids. Randy, anybody from Ohio State? Like Ohio State is a stack team. It's hard. They were so and they were like, come on, bro. You, you see how kind of quarterbacks and receivers they had? Yeah. They just kept fumbling them in. Like anybody all them guys in pro are beasts. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So you you know us. So we go back to like anybody from the more the Miami teams. Nah, that Miami that old one Miami team part of the best college. Ever, I put them up against anybody. Ever, and you can name you can name any Bama <laughs> team, Bama squad, me, any Bama squad you want. That my team ain't have no quarterback. I got the Bama with two. I was a, a, <laughs> you we can, can. I take Ken Dorsey at quarterback. Word. You can give me any of those Bama teams. Winslow, Shockey, Andre, Clint. I to say Clint Willis, Frank, Frank, <laughs> Sean Taylor. 
and trail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, linebackers were, uh, what, Ed was on that team? Ed, uh, Ed came after, um. No, Ed wasn't on that team. But the linebacker led Jonathan Vilma on that team. No, he ran, Ed was before that. Yeah. Ed was before that. Jonathan Vilma was on that old one team. Yeah. That team was nasty. Nasty. I don't know, but that USC, that USC team might give him a run. You're talking about the one with Reggie on it, right? Yeah, Reggie, Lindell, yeah. Dwayne Jed, uh, Matt Liner. Matt Liner. Yeah, that, that the USC team was say, crazy. Was like Ray Malhuga was the linebacker. Yeah, that now, if we were going to defenses, that Texas defense that went up against that USC Bruh. team was different. Earl was on that team, right? Uh, Earl was on that team. Yeah, the young Sergio Kendall was on that team. Yeah. Um, Aaron Ross was on that team. <laughs> that team was nasty. Uh, hey, you missed a fool. We gotta make a list. We gotta make a list about it. We, make a list we about should about do it. that. Best college football team. That, I'm thinking now. Some of the Florida State teams were like the, the, the early 90s Florida State teams and the Nebraska teams. The Michigan team, that last Michigan team that won the next with Charles. It's some, it's some brief, some of the Bama teams up there. I ain't going to do nothing. Not too much on Bama. But, 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 but that defense. I take it back. Because 01 team was the best team. But I think the best offense I've seen was that LSU Joe Burrow team. That, that offense was crazy. They couldn't be stopped. With Richard Jefferson and all them boys on there. You had that over um Justin Jefferson, I'm going to say. You had that over, was that Auburn team? That had, uh... That Campbell? No, nah, it had, uh... Yeah, Jason Campbell? Cadillac. Remember Cadillac Williams? Yeah, and Ronnie Bell? Ronnie Bell. Really? Yeah. Look, at, look who, like, you gotta look at that roster. They had Joe Burrow, they had a running back. They had golf, they had running backs on that team. That that was the most supposed to offense I've seen. Mm. And then you also take the Oklahoma State teams that had the, that, um... Had Blackman and uh, Dez. I was say, you can name some Arkansas teams. Remember uh, Felix Jones and uh, and Darren? And Darren was on oh, there. That was crazy. That wild? Yeah. That was crazy. Um, right, man. Coming up, we're going to make yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make that. I'm going to – Now I'm starting to re rethink that. There were some Bama defenses in that 2010, 2010. You're talking about, like, about who on that bench. Because they went, they went from Dante to – yeah, they went from the Miko Dante. That's what's great. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> and mess around. Uh, oh my God. Oh boy, that Ruben Foster came through at one time, cracking shit. There was <clears throat> that Mark they, Barron on the safety. There was years that same Mark Barron team. That uh, that Let's team. Some more. That team that played uh, uh, Notre Dame in the championship. Those fools didn't even pass the fifty yard line to the fourth quarter. That's how good that defense so, was. That's so, so offensive with Deshaun. Was the, yeah, Deshaun. That Taj offense was better. That Taj offense had better receivers. Taj had a uh, D hop, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Clemson had some squads. And uh, I'll say it's Spiller. I'm not the, best, the, best, the, best, the best team. And then, like, go by position. Like, who, like, this off of college. Cause I'm thinking, like, running back wise, Reggie's on that list, but I don't know who his backup is, though. Reggie's my starter, though. Reggie's the best running back in college football in my lifetime that I've seen. Now, I ain't saying talk about man going back to Bo Jackson and all that. When I purpose that, but in my lifetime, Reggie, Reggie's number one. It probably, no, I'm not. It's Reggie and AP. Oh, yeah. It's Reggie and AP. One, two. Because AP and Oklahoma was crazy. Still good. Crazy. Man, it was crazy. Freshman, crazy. You know what I'm saying? I. I remember Zeke. I remember Zeke holding like houses some shit no, back then. No, no way there. No way there. I put Darren McFadden on him, Cadillac and all them on him. I put Jonathan Taylor. People don't, bro, people don't remember that Arkansas offense, bro. No, I'm talking about why. I mean, Darren McFadden. Jonathan Taylor's uh, uh, Jonathan Taylor up there on my list, too. At Wisconsin, he did that four years. He was crazy for four years. Three years, man. He touched 2K once, right? Yeah, Jonathan Taylor was crazy. Um, it was some. I look it up, but we we gotta make a list, like go down the list yeah. and then go position by position, cause you know their receiver list get hard. 
we go, we gotta, we gotta pick a year we stop at though. Right, but we gotta make duos, make it like a duo. But we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Good pod, you know. Um, if you if you are, if you have listened to us, this whole thing, the biggest thing is this summer is gonna be great for boxing. You know, great boxing is gonna happen this summer. Get your money right. Get with your boys or get with your family. Had a fight party, man. Cause you talking about when June hit, it's kind of like back to back to back, and then like it's 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 lining up when next year we should also have a good year. Cause it seemed like everybody got a consensus because the money is here from the Saudis and everybody yeah. else that that of these fights are going to happen. Yeah. Hopefully, Spence fight this year. I don't know if that's going to happen, but you know the the like the fights are going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so you know what I'm saying? Get your get your money right. Get your fight party right. Pull it together. Do what you gotta do. Say we're not gonna get your fight schedule ready. Where you gonna link up at? Because I think this is gonna be a good summer for boxing. It's cool when we do right into. You know what I'm saying? After Terrence Crawford, August third. That lead me right into. You know what I'm saying? Football, Football season. season. You ready? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? So until next time, don't forget this is your premier spot, IDK Sports Podcast. The premier spot to catch sports with the average guys. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at IDK Sports Pod 23. You also follow me at Anthony E. Great. Follow my man Kenny F. Finesse in the gram. And don't forget we drop every Monday at 5 p.m. Wherever you get your podcast at. And we also drop on YouTube. And the only way you can know when we drop, where we drop, and how we drop is just to hit the button, hit man. The damn button. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the follow button, the share button, and don't miss out on any of this content because it's starting to build up. We really got some content out here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button early before we get the football season and start really taking off. You know, you ain't going to want to miss. So we're going to hit the subscribe button, take notification on. You know what we do, man. But until next time, man, we'll holler at you.